All right, round number five, and we're at Atlanta this week, which is one of those rough, bumpy, headache-inducing, tire-eating, abrasive tracks that are usually the most fun to drive. And it should stay that way. It's more fun that way. That's why I hope it never gets uh, repaid, even though I know it will eventually, because it'll will tear up. But until then, the main topic's got to be tires, which you'll see on the keys of the race card. Three times, probably, in all three of those, just because that's how important they are. Number one, tires, obviously. Two, touches back on number one. And that's driver-induced wear, which means you can just push the car way too hard and kill your tires earlier, or be careful with them in the first few laps and, you know, have some at the end. But if you're too careful, you'll lose time. You'll never, you'll never get it back. So that's why I was on there. It's number two is just driver-induced things. We'll try to be smooth. So number three would be, well, it's Atlanta, it's hot and sleek. You can usually get long runs. Restarts are usually troublesome, but if you can get this car to be good in a long run, just, you know, by minimizing tire scrub at the beginning of the thing. Because you can still push hard enough to where you're not overdriving the car to where it kills tires, but you can still get to that point. So try finding the limit and that'll help you in speed and long run, as long as you don't overdo it. So that's pretty much it. Get to the lap. All right, we're making our approach to pit road. You want to break right around here, I guess. This is at the limit. After a little bit of a run, down to 50 miles per hour at the yellow, which I might have sped there, but I slowed her down on purpose a little bit afterwards to hopefully get away with it. Let me fast forward this real quick. All right, so pit exits right here. Stay under the white line, even though I come dangerously close to crossing over it. Not yet, but eventually, like right there, got away with it. So, yeah. Don't come out to the back stretch, which is after this blue car. And there you go. On to the lap. All right, I'm going to do two laps this time because the first one's a little bit slower, so might as well do two into a run. And FYI, this is like not a conservative run at all. This was like pushing the car to its limits, so I might kill the tires. But whatever. Fix it up, fix weather, weather gave me a track temp of 104. It's locked, but I don't change it for testing reasons. I think 50% rubber kind of gives you a little bit of an idea. Not really accurate to race conditions at all, but oh well. Only thing I changed was the offset to get it to go more straight, I guess. Like plus eight or something like that. I don't remember. So that's it. So we'll watch these two lamps and we'll... We'll go from there. Alright, you can see it in the second lap was quicker, but you can see I lifted a few times, and I'll explain why, and I'm only going to cover, you know, the, the second lap. Alright, so I'm only going to talk about lap two. And a little breakdown, I guess. So let's make our way to one. So let me slow one as I turn in, because it's kind of important of where you turn in. Kind of determines the rest of the corner, so just take note of this. I'm not lifting at all until I know it's going to get tight which is about right to the center of the corner right here. I do only do it really quick. That's just all you need to get it back down. But if I don't, it'll just push to the wall because the setup's really tight and I hate it because of that reason. But you can see there's only a quick lift. I can actually just continue the lap if I really wanted to. So let's go into three. And we're gonna talk about the lift again. This time we can drive in a little bit out you know, arc it in more and then drive down later 
just because of the way the corner shape. But again, I know it's going to push. So I'm going to lift. I'm going to beat it to the punch pretty much right here. Right to get to the bottom of the corner. Right in the center, you're going to lift really quick. Gradually get back, depending on how the car is driving. Now, it might be significantly worse in traffic. Now, you can drive in a little bit deeper before you, before it gets tight. But as I always said with this car, you want to beat it to the punch, you know. You know it's going to get tight, so lift before it happens because you have a better chance of driving out of a tight car. You know, like that, rather than waiting for it to push and then trying to stop it. So you just go to the line. That's pretty much it. I don't know how to explain it any more than this. Just follow that line, I guess, and go back and watch it. So, yeah. All right, that's it for this track guide. Hopefully it helps some people. Not as in-depth as I would like, but it's a mile and a half with this new package, so... Whatever. I say just have fun at the track because it is a blast to drive once the tires wear out. Anyways, sim racing should be side.